Uh, all right, welcome back. Let's give some ad bad advice, shall we? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. It's Nobody Asked You, where we give sometimes good, but yeah, usually bad advice yeah. to people who have posted questions in online forums. Let's get to the first one. It's how to start my singing career. Mm. People have told me I have a great voice. I sing baritone at church <laughs> and should consider trying to make a career out of it. How do I begin exploring whether or not it's something I should go into? I also don't want to make a big deal about it and draw attention in case it doesn't work out, so I'd like to do it on the down low. Oh, I It's called karaoke. Oh. <laughs> do that. The ancient art of karaoke. <laughs> yeah, why throw away your life trying to chase something? Well, just send it, you know, just... I, too, am, I can identify with this question. Like, when I would be applying for jobs throughout my career, I wouldn't yeah. tell anyone. I might tell two people because I didn't want to, like, talk it up and be like, I applied for this job. I'm so excited, especially if you get an interview. Don't be telling people you had an interview because it is embarrassing if you don't get it. So this could be similar. Yeah, I would just maybe send out some demo tapes to some record labels or agents maybe. Just, and then just keep it to yourself. Give up <laughs> on your dream. No. I mean, all, all you got to do is watch that Shania Twain documentary. Now, here's a girl with amazing talent, yeah. beautiful, yeah. and she struggled mightily. It's the music business nowadays more now, than ever. Now, if you're so better than Shania Twain, then go have at it. Send us a tape right now. The problem is you look at the music industry and you see people that don't have any talent and they've made it. So that gives hope to every idiot out there. Keep, keep chasing those dreams. <laughs> so they can do it too is you what you're saying. You can do it basically. too. I mean, now that I think yeah. about it, I mean, look at me. I'm on TV. How'd this happen? I ask every day. And a lot of people ask me that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is not a question, but a statement. Stop calling it a chicken sandwich. Why do Americans call a chicken burger a chicken sandwich? What? To me, a chicken sandwich is pieces of chicken between regular sliced bread. If it's fried chicken in a burger bun, it's a chicken burger. So okay. this isn't a question. This is just you being an elitist from another country. Right. Just because so you're older than young America. So definition of a hamburger is the bun. So if I were to, what if I were to take a hamburger and put it on two slices of bread? It's no longer a hamburger. To me, no, it is. No, that's like a cereal killer sandwich. Eating ground of a ground yeah. beef burger between two pieces of white. Yeah, well, I mean I'd eat it. I, but oh it's yeah, I, I'd do it. Wrap that thing in cheese. You no, I bet. do. I do agree with them. A bun does make a burger. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. A bun does not make a then burger. Then wait a minute. It, did they call like if they have a pulled pork sandwich? Are they calling that a pulled pork burger? Right. I hate this guy. Yeah. Right. Stay in your country and you call it whatever you want, sweet little darling. Why do you keep thinking he's in a different country? He said, why do Americans? Oh, well, that doesn't mean he's from a different country. Oh, maybe he's just, he's <laughs> one of us and is like, this yeah. is my one sticking point. It's, like when, my, it's like when my <laughs> grandfather stood up and said at Thanksgiving, I'll see you people later. <laughs> and we went, aren't we part of the family? Yeah, you people. We, Who's he addressing? You are they. Yeah. We are they. <laughs> yeah. You are with us. I'll see you people later. <laughs> In the living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, making a big move soon. Hello, Americans. Not the same guy. <laughs> it's, no. It's an invasion. <laughs> I'm moving to America soon. My pocket's loaded down with chicken burgers. <laughs> Is there anything I should know before I come? Oh, we well, are. Well, first of all, we don't end the sentence that way. That, that, that's awkward. And, and third... Or my second point. Second. I think my second point. <laughs> a hamburger is determined by yeah. a beef patty, not the bun you place it on. Mm. Okay. Um, I'll just tell you this. We got a lot of problems here, buddy. Uh, no, we don't. This is the best place in the world. Oh, no, 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 no. It is. But we still got a lot of problems, buddy. There's some, some discord happening. Uh, Come enjoy yourself. You'll love it. Oh, no, all I'm saying is you just pick a side, friend, and just, or just don't. Pick a side. There are two major political groups in America. Oh, he's got to go political. No, he I can't just, just enjoy the land of opportunity. Oh, he's got to no, be a. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not how it works. Or That's a not how it works. He can't just. No, he can't. I'm just saying. Well, prepare for some awkward small talk when you go to a bar. Just yeah. don't bring it up. No, I don't know. What? What is something that you think might be unique to America that someone might need to know? We're big. <laughs> We're big people here. And we like to eat. We do like to eat. And a second thing is we got a lot of drive throughs So if you're used to other you countries, you don't have to exercise. You don't have to walk. You just never leave your car. America. They give you oversized portions that you never get anywhere else in the world. If we could have more moving walkways and escalators, we would take it in this We're country. We're on the verge of becoming uh, 
what what was the uh, Wally? Did you ever see Wally? Oh, and you don't think we have problems? This is the greatest country in the world, but well, we're this close is. from Wally. Yeah, well, we may stroke out soon, but yeah, we're still living it up. But welcome aboard. Wow. I would say everything's real spread out, like here. Yes, America is that's, huge. It's a big so place. much different than what they're used to. Like if if he's talking about Europe, for instance, like yeah. everything there is a lot closer. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the countries there are the size of like states here. Right. America is. Right. Got a lot going on. Okay, time last for one. last one. Okay. Um, I need an answer on this. If a train is traveling <laughs> at 50 miles per hour and a fly is flying through the train at one mile per hour, how fast is the fly going? My friend brought this up at a party and I can't continue my life without a resolution on this. Okay. Well, it depends on your perspective, right? If you're on the train, he's doing one mile per hour. Sure. If you're outside of the train, he's doing 51. If I, I, I don't do math, so I don't know. So I would, I won't agree with you, but I'm still. I don't not do calm. math either, but I feel it, you know, because I'm, because <laughs> I, I feel that's got to be right, you know. I, that's why I think I could be a pilot. No, I. I I'll, think I got the, I, the instincts. I have the maverick instincts to fly. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the math works. I just know it feels right. Sometimes Lee will be in the middle of a conversation, and I'll be like. Where'd you go? Come back to this conversation. You'll go, oh, I'm sorry. I was just, I had a really weird feeling. I was doing a barrel roll. I think it was math. <laughs> <laughs> I got that math feeling again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just feel it.